welcome to my channel. My name is Emma and here on my channel I make skincare products and I provide free formulas every single week. So today I'm making a Cloudberry Luxury Face Cream. Now this formulation is a little bit more advanced, but it truly does rival some really high-end moisturizers that are on the market. This product contains some really lovely moisturizing ingredients, including cloudberry seed oil, rosehip seed oil, camellia seed oil, and mango butter. For hydration, I've included hyaluronic acid, glycerin, and niacinamide. I've also included some green tea extract, which is one of my favorite antioxidants, especially for facial products. Today I'm using primarily Montanoff 202 as my emulsifier. I've combined it with Aristoflex ABC, which is a polymeric emulsifier and which you've seen me use before if you've watched any of my other videos. I'm also including just a little bit of glycerol stearate and PEG 100 stearate. As much as I love Montanoff, it does not give me the opacity that I'm looking for in this formulation but you can totally use one or the other and you will totally end up with a beautiful emulsion. So let's get into it. So I have already weighed out all of my ingredients. This beaker contains 63.75 grams of distilled water and to that I am adding two grams of propane dial 1-3. This is one of my favorite humectants. Don't you think we're done? And five grams of a 1% hyaluronic acid solution. And two grams of glycerin. two grams of niacinamide, 0.3 grams of elantoin, and 0.1 grams of citric acid. That's our pH adjuster. It's gonna bring the pH of the emulsion down just a little bit to the ideal pH range. And 0.1 grams of disodium EDTA. That is our collator and it's gonna help with preservation. And that's our water phase. Don't you think we don't Moving on to our oil phase, the first thing I'm adding to my beaker is three grams of Montanoff 202. One gram of glycerol stearate and PEG 100 stearate. And three grams of mango butter. And in this beaker, I have two grams of cloudberry seed oil, three grams of rosehip seed oil, three grams of squalane, and four grams of camellia seed oil. And one gram of Aristoflex AVC. And lastly, one gram of a spherical silicone powder. I really don't know how to pronounce it. I will put it on the screen, but this functions as a skin conditioner and a texturizing agent. And that is our oil phase. Don't you think we're done? So our phases are ready to be heated. I'm going to throw some aluminum foil on these beakers and then put them both in a double boiler for about 20 minutes. That's gonna be long enough for all of our solid ingredients to melt and for our water phase to come to the same temperature. So our phases are heated. As you can see, all of our solid ingredients have melted in the oil phase and our powders have dissolved in the water phase. And I did go ahead and add a little bit of orange mica to the oil phase off camera. I did that because cloud berries have a beautiful orange color and I was trying to mimic that. So now it is time to combine our phases and blend. Don't 
So I blended this for a couple of minutes and then I hand stirred it for a little bit and it is now cool enough to incorporate our cool down phase. So in this bowl, I have weighed out 0.5 grams of liquid dermal plus, that's our preservative, 0.5 grams of vitamin E, that's our antioxidant, 0.75 grams of dimethicone, and two grams of green tea extract. So I'm going to add this and then um, I will be hand stirring from there. So the emulsion has reached room temperature and is now ready to be packaged. I'm going to be using this 50 gram glass jar and then once I get this packaged I will do a swatch so you can get an idea for how it applies and what the finish is like on the skin. So I just want to show you what this looks like up close in the jar and hopefully you can see that it's very smooth and it forms these peaks in the jar and then I'm going to be doing a swatch so you can see how it applies. So as you can hopefully see, it really does have a tremendous amount of slip and glide. That's from the inclusion of the Aristaflex AVC and the Glycerol Sterate and PEG 100 Sterate, as well as the silicones that I used. And it also absorbs pretty quickly. It's completely non-sticky and it really does feel incredibly moisturizing on the skin and incredibly lightweight on the skin. So hopefully that gave you an idea of how it applies and how it functions on the skin. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please consider subscribing to the channel and please consider giving this video a thumbs up. I'm going to be posting videos weekly going forward. Next week, I think I am making some body butter bars. So stay tuned for that. And thank you so much again for watching. Don't you think we're done?